Very interesting experience. Anyway, Philip died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this week I finished watching The Crown. Yeah. In the past two weeks. I finished I finished watching The Crown. Mm-hmm. And then the day I finished it, the next morning, I woke up and I saw the news. Prince Philip dead at 99. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah. And I felt like I had I had something to do with his death. You know, in fairness to him, he looked dead for a while. He, he was in the hospital for a while. Yeah, but have you seen pictures of Philip? Yeah, yeah, of course I have. He looks like a fresh corpse. <laughs> like <laughs> he, he, does he does he does look like he does look ninety nine. <laughs> he looks ninety nine. Yeah, he he definitely looks. You know his how age. they look? People look at you like, hey, how old are you? Like, oh, twenty five. I was oh, like, really? you look good for your age. You look, you look good. You look, yeah, he looks ninety nine. No, he looks ninety nine. <laughs> he looks ninety nine. Really, he looks like he looks like he's ninety nine, but he died when he was seventy. Like he yeah. looks rough. So for people who for people who don't know who Prince Philip is. And, and by the way, we're not trying to be disrespectful, but obviously we have our qualms with the royal family. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, and the crown is really close to my heart now because <laughs> I did that. Yeah. But um, Prince Philip is Queen Elizabeth's husband. Yes, allegedly. Alleg- why? Why do you say that? I don't know. I don't. I just don't believe everything. I don't believe everything you read, bro. Well, look. After watching the crown, I know that there's a bunch of shit that happens in that house, and, that, and that's why I just don't understand. Like. Any anytime some someone tells me something about the royal family, they say, oh, they did this. I was like, maybe. I mean, look, look. I, I want to do knows? a series spotlight on the crown. Yeah, we're gonna do it because I I watch the show too. So we'll, and I don't want to give details or anything. And I'm not gonna say anything. But all I want to say is, imagine you staying in this house for 70 years, mm-hmm. and you don't really go out except like meeting prime ministers. Yeah, I mean, I would be weird too. You'd be really weird. Yeah, I mean, I'm weird right now. Yeah, and you go out sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, so Philip is dead. Philip died. Um, I kind of I was shocked. Man. And Prince Harry is gonna go. Is gonna go. I heard Prince Harry is going, but Meghan Markle's not. But did you read why? Yeah, because her doctor said she can't go because she's pregnant. Yeah. Why do you say it like that? Because there's some spice in your voice. It's not that. It's because. Let me say something about this, okay? Because I don't know. People are gonna be against me, but. If you have the courage to go out on TV and talk about your experience and all that, then have the courage to just say, no, I'm mad at you. I'm not coming to your freaking funeral. But she doesn't need to because she has an out. It's like oh, me. Oh, yeah, when, that's what I'm saying. It's like me when I didn't go po- with you to politics. take the vaccine, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, exactly. I had an out, so exactly. I didn't need to tell but the that's truth. That's what I'm saying. Like, she played it political at that moment. She did, and I'm happy she did, though. I'm, I'm okay with I'm it. happy she but did. But, like, uh, you know? Yeah. I know, like, I wanted her to, like, finish it. Yeah. No, I, I didn't. But I, the punch didn't go through. I, I think. I think if anything, her say her like n- not saying like oh I don't want to go because I don't want to go is better because it, it I feel like it bothers them even more. Yeah, because let me tell you, the moment I heard Prince Philip died, the first thing I thought of was, damn, it's gonna be awkward for Meghan Markle if she goes to that funeral. Yeah, immediately yeah. I was like, oh, she's gonna be sitting next to the queen, like, yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, man. So I, I don't, obviously Meghan's not gonna go, but. Um, I want to say thoughts and prayers to them, but I, I kind of don't too. So I mean, why not? I just don't care. I mean, he was ninety nine, bro. Like he, re- like he's oh, well, probably, yeah. but like he died, you know. I know, <laughs> I, I know he, di- I know he died, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I think when someone dies like that, um, they're ninety nine years old, bro. Like, did you watch the crown? I did watch the crown. The whole thing. The whole thing, and. We'll talk about it. It's yeah, fine. yeah, I want to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, you're 99 years old. You lived a full life. Like, at this point, it's probably better for you to be in a different place than here, assuming that, you know, you get there. But <laughs> anyway, so it, speaking of death, another another death that I consider tragic was DMX. Um, See, bias. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but DMX's death just sucked. It was an overdose. If you know anything about DMX, you know that. Was it considered an overdose? It was an overdose. Then he had a heart attack, and then he caught COVID in the hospital. So this dude was just like, "Are you serious?" He was Cause, med- yeah. Because I heard they thought it was an overdose, but then they ruled it as a heart attack. But was it from it was a the heart overdose? attack as a result of the overdose? Really? Yeah. And and DMX has had a drug. So for people that don't know, DMX when he was fourteen years old, um, this thirty year old dude I forgot his name, um, basically gave him a. Uh, like he gave him weed that was laced with crack and he didn't know, right? So ever since he smoked that, he's had like drug problems. Are you serious? Yeah. 
Yeah, so like ever since he smoked that, he's had drug problems. So literally, he hasn't been able to shake it, and you know he just overdosed, which sucks because like DMX is responsible for a lot of like good music and everything. But other than that, like this dude was just like himself. So it, it sucks that he's gone, but I'm a firm believer of like, you know, he was suffering while he was here. He just couldn't get better. He got to the point where you know he's overdosing. He's having heart attacks. He almost died in 2016 or 2017 too. I heard like, that, yeah. But uh, look, I, I don't really know DMX mm -hmm. just because like, you know me, like, yeah, it's not your thing. Yeah. Like, you know how you're indifferent of Prince Philip dying, yeah. which hurt me. I don't, um, I don't really care about DMX. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I don't, but I do know some of his songs, like the really famous yeah, songs. Yeah. Yeah. And, and DMX, man, <laughs> like the, the thing, he's one of my favorite rappers. Like, he's, really? yeah, he's one of my favorite, like he has some of my favorite rap songs of all time. And you know, the thing about DMX is it shows you what happens when when mental health and addiction is not dealt with correctly. Was it a shock for you that he died? It or? wasn't. No, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was a shock because I knew DMX had a history of a drug problem. You know, so it's... It, it, it wasn't like Kobe Bryant's death. No, it wasn't like it... like Or something like that. Yeah, DMX you know I mean? has overdosed before. Like, it, I mean, it, it is what it is. Like, yeah. you know what happens. And the thing is, is like sometimes people find more peace in the next life than they do in this one. So you got to just pray for their family um hope they get to cope but it, i think dmx is gonna be all right i mean what i mean he, in, he the, died. in the after oh okay i was like you know <laughs> <laughs> but anyway yeah so so dmx is gone that's tragic we uh, 2020 and 2021 we lost a, a good amount of people there's a lot of people man. but people die every year i think it's just this year because we're at home because like where we you have, see it more yeah we have more like time to be on social media and stuff like that also a lot of the people that we grew up knowing are getting old like so it, it just oh, is what true. it is sometimes am i getting old yeah okay you, you are getting um, old. i don't want to talk about that you anyway. wear a lot of sweaters bro i do you do wear a lot of sweaters i do but can i tell you today this was a mistake right it was a mistake yeah it was a mistake because I thought, I mean, yesterday the weather was cold. Was it? It, oh, yeah, it, it was. was. It, it was, was cold. It was a little cold. Up it was here. cold. Yeah. I left the house this morning. Was I was in a rush. It was hot. I was like, what's up? What's happening? Virginia, baby. What are you going to do? It. When I, I was it. when I was in Colorado, Mac told me, dude, Denver, it's it's going to be snowing. It's going to be. It was hotter than it was here. It was like 75, 80 degrees. But that's weird because when I was there in, in April, um, it, it wasn't like that. It wasn't. It was no. freezing. It was snowing, like actual snow. Global warming, man. What are you going to do? <laughs> but, you know. Other updates. 